from a getaway at over 100 mem, a stolen car leading police on a high-speed chase, to police having to use a pit to stop a fleeing criminal. All the most watchable police chase moments are in this video, and it definitely doesn't disappoint. Let's get it on. 911 reported that a patrol car had been stolen and was traveling southbound on I-75. The car was traveling at speeds exceeding 100 mm, endangering other vehicles. After a pit maneuver, the car stopped and the suspect, Christopher Edward Parker, fled into the woods. K-9 Fryer later located Parker and arrested him. Parker was then transported to the Catosa County Jail. A flock alert was triggered by a stolen vehicle. Police pursued the vehicle for 11.5 miles at speeds of 120 m. Thank you. 
A Grafton police officer successfully deployed a stop stick, deflating three tires on the vehicle, and the suspect was taken into custody. A police on me. Charges were filed for the driver fleeing or eluding police. The suspect also had multiple prior traffic violations. A high-speed chase in Michigan ensued when a suspect hijacked a car to flee after committing a robbery at a grocery store. We need to go. I do not have a good angle here. Watch behind us. You see any movement, 75? No, I don't see any. I'm going to creep up, at least walk the entrance way. We have stop sticks ready for the sheriff. Okay, I'm seeing some movement in the vehicle. Males in the driver's seat. They're starting the vehicle. We need to move in. Please stop! Stop! Yeah, 
After the suspect's car spun out of control and crashed into a ditch, Ohio police quickly caught up with the suspects, Oliver and Jones. We got. I, someone's. Hey, someone take the radio. What do you guys take the radio? Take the radio. Yeah, I think I hit him. He's, he's down. Hey, get over here. Get over here. No, we cannot see the passenger. Ronnie, are you hit anywhere? Ronnie, Ronnie. Ronnie, are you hit anywhere? Dude. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you've been hit. Thumbs up, you've been hit. Okay. Thumbs down. You gave a thumbs up. I, dude, it was like a half thumb. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ronnie, are you able to climb up on the passenger seat and exit out of the, path, the left passenger door? Yes. We're going to have you come on our side, not your side. If you can come up that seat and come towards us. We want you to come into the back, get in the back seat, and come towards us. See what I'm talking about? I ask him if he's able. Get that R even up right there. We can't hear you, Ronnie. Just Ronnie, we can't hear you. We just—it's safer on this side for everyone. Just climb over. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep, just keep your hands up the, the, the whole time, okay? You're gonna come up on the left side. Left side. You need to, you want to pull your pants up? He's coughing from the pepper. Uh, this is a gas, I know. Just collect yourself. It's okay, collect yourself. I know the gas the gas sucks, I know I understand that. Once we get you out of that truck, you ain't gotta worry about that gas. But there's a handle to your left. We're gonna have you try to open up that handle. I'm not sure if that door is unlocked. Yep. So your left, okay, Ronnie? Left, 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 left. There you go. Right there. Okay. Oliver was charged with failure to obey order or signal, felony assault, and willful pursuit. Jones also faces related charges. While on patrol police observed a Lexus traveling at 87 mph and the fee 5mph lane, a chase ensued. After three unsuccessful pit maneuvers the Lexus came to a sudden stop. Police quickly approached and arrested the suspect. He was later booked into the Bullock County Jail on four pursuit-related charges and one felony escape charge. Thanks for you got me. <sighs> <laughs> 
the police department issued information that a suspect was fleeing in a stolen vehicle. I'm up to the service drive here at 7 and 7 time. They are Crossing over I-75. Way through the guitar going out to Chrysler Drive, southbound at Brickwood. Yeah, we're on the service drive going south. Continuing southbound on the service drive, 72 miles per hour. Margaret. The suspect was driving at speeds exceeding 120 mph, and after a pit maneuver, the vehicle stopped. The suspect attempted to flee on foot, but was unsuccessful and was apprehended. Henry County Police are actively pursuing an orange Dodge Challenger.
a pit maneuver was performed, causing the vehicle to spin 180 degrees and stop. The suspect has been identified as Nathan James Rogers, and he faces multiple felony charges. And Nathan Griffin, I'm here for uh, notify the supervisor for a bit, and you can turn 39 radios. It's not moving. Okay. Dashcam video from a police cruiser shows the pursuit through Columbus that lasted several minutes. That's eleven with the one car. Six approved. Was it that end back here? Go, 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 go. He's bailing right now. No, he's not. Come back to me, come back to me. He's gonna head back, he's gonna come out on main over by the towers. He's bound main, he's bound main. Go, 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 got it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, right watch out, watch out, watch out, left, 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 left. I gotcha, I gotcha. You're good, you're good, you're good. He's, he's missing a tire. South Bell to Elm Creek. Take him at the wall, take him at the wall. Take him, take him, take him, take him, take him, take him. Take him. Take him. Police were trying to stop two suspects accused of being involved in an armed robbery in the Hilltop neighborhood. Come on, Gino, take it. Just missed it. Southbound Elm Creek, left lane, right across the... Go, 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 good, 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 good. We lost the wheel. S11, he just lost the wheel. We're still southbound Elm Creek. We're going to be in uh, Lion's Den, Lion's Den, bailing, 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 bailing. Jolan Rutherford and Ande Sullivan were arrested. Rutherford was charged with tampering with evidence and Sullivan was charged with failure to comply, tampering with evidence and speeding. Thank you for watching the entire video. Which moment impressed you the most? If you like this video please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. See you again.